you go ahead. Yeah, isn't chlorine your main problem because uh, that's where it all starts? I mean, why are they putting uh, as much chlorine as they are? And <coughs> also, how does chlorine affect uh, the plastic pipe? Let's come That's back to that one. These, these yeah. guys are, are more on the orthopoly. Can we come back to that sure, one? Sure, sure. Who else has a question? Um, I just had a question. I was wondering, have you ever done any studies on uh, what would happen if someone were to use this water to grow food? Like what effect that might have on their food? Uh, uh, orthopolyphosphate effect on food, uh, on growing, you know, food. Gardening. Gardening. Well, gardening, th that's an easy one. Gardening, you know, phosphates actually help make uh, flowers and grass grow better. Mm -hmm. Would their food still be organic or not? Yeah, 100%. Really? It, 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 yeah, absolutely. Are you sure? I'm absolutely Are you not sure. just saying, <laughs> come on, come on. <laughs> <laughs> let me ask you a question, okay? Martin, hold on. Let me ask, okay, the question I have for you is, again, how many gallons of water are you using to clean the meat before you put it on the grill? Using five gallons of water? Using, using two gallons of water? Whether I, mean, I whatever eat or not on. is actually not the question I'm asking. Um, yes. The question I'm asking you is, do you have any idea whether their food would still be organic or not if they were to use this water to grow their food given where this chemical is sourced from? Um, and and maybe you shouldn't answer the question if you don't know the answer to it. Maybe you should just look into well, it. Well, hold on. They do know the answer. What What's the answer, David? What, what, is the food organic or not? Like not, is it? No. Oh, who are you asking the question? Well, to you. To you. Uh, uh, I'm sorry, sorry, Michael. I called you by the wrong name. Uh, oh. So, food grown with water treated with orthopoly, I mean, would it I mean, still be considered the phosphate, organic? The phosphate is organic. Okay. Well, I mean, I mean okay, no, we don't, we don't, we don't turn it from an organic <coughs> product into something else. It's a preservative. It's a natural preservative of phosphate. Okay. That's all. All right, we've got to okay. go on. Well, we had a question about a chemical element that wasn't answered earlier, mm -hmm. and I think I, what we're a lot of us are really interested in is more transparency, and and we don't want you to feel under attack, but we need to feel that willingness to offer that transparency in order to meet in a conversation. I promise you, I'm telling you everything that I possibly can tell you as far as what I know about the product. I mean, I'm not yeah. hiding any. There's nothing to hide right. here. It's a pretty uh, open product, and you can read a lot of papers and documents about the product and the technology. Is your slogan uh, actually one company, one product, one planet, or something like that? Is that a uh, real secret slogan, or was that a mistake? You, you want to know yeah. something? I, I have to take a look. <laughs> this is a terrible <laughs> One product, <laughs> one yeah, product. I don't know. Sir, we I need to see. stay on point. Yeah. Okay. And one I thing I wanted to spell real quick. Here's a question that keeps coming up. Are you guys in any way affiliated with a company called Monsanto? No, <laughs> not at all. We're an independent company. Okay, thanks. Privately owned company. Has Monsanto been in, been in, uh, involved in the in the development product process of this product at all ever? No, no. Jerry Grossblatt, who was our president, and he created the uh, Sequest, mm -hmm. passed away a few years ago of cancer. Um, uh, he um, he did this on his own. I mean, J Jerry was a master <laughs> chemist. And what he did is he worked for uh, another chemical company. Actually, he's patented several mm -hmm. chemical uh, products. And he worked on this at home for like 18 years uh, on his own, you know, in his spare time uh, to develop and create the sequence. Yeah, go ahead. I just have a really uh, quick question. It does two things. It coats the pipes. And it also sequesters the metal, and it it uh, makes the metal smaller, like the particles smaller. And my my question is, if I no, that's only wait, that's only for oxidized metals, iron three, manganese three. That's not uh, uh, your your soluble metals in the water are sequestered as they are. And the copper is not. Uh, no copper is we coat copper. And we coat lead. Okay. There's no, yeah, there's no erosion with uh, no copper erosion with steel. <coughs> okay. Well, apparently they don't have an iron problem here. My concern was if the smaller particles 
how they'd be metabolized through the liver if that was unnatural, that maybe they're smaller than they would be found in nature. But um, I guess we don't have an, an we iron have problem no, here. No, copper and lead. Uh, le uh, okay. Yeah. Uh, where does the lead go? Well, well, we coat the lead, so the lead doesn't go anywhere. So it's like um, the coating on the pipes, we bond with it to prevent any uh, further corrosion in the pipes. Okay. I've got a question from Dean Lloyd. Uh-huh. I'm going to step up so it can be heard. Um, uh, this is a question for all three. Uh, basically, the community has been asked with the question of high-tech versus low-tech and orthopolyphosphate versus pH. And what if the process of breaking down, because this is what you've been talking about, that the body has its own process. And if that process, I ask the question or I submit the question to you, that process takes energy for the body. And what if the human cannot break down the orthopolyphosphate in its unnatural state? So the, um, that might be a question for NSF, actually. Or who, who wants to yeah. take that question? <laughs> That's a medical question. I, I, I can't, I'm not qualified to answer that one. So the concern is the energy. I, I, this one, I have to make sure I understand the question. You're worried that the body has to use additional energy to break down the, the polyphosphate? I want to know the process that hasn't been disclosed. What was that? Phosphate the process phosphate. of how the, I know how phosphate, I may know personally how phosphate is utilized in the cell, but suppose that there is an interruption in the cell that doesn't allow the electrolyte process, normal process, so the water to be taken in the cell. I want to know what that process is with an orthopolyphosphate. You've lost me completely. Come back up to the speaker, please, Dean, and restate the question. Okay. If you've talked about the body metabolizes Correct. phosphate. What if there is an inability for some people to, for whatever predisposition, have the inability to process the orthopolyphosphate that you produce? What, what has been provided as far as health data on that process. This has been talked about, you, you, when the NSF uh, scientist had made the comment that your body breaks it down or your body processes it. What is that process and what, I'm proposing the question, is it if that person or a person cannot make that process happen and what health effects can be seen as a result? Okay, as far as how the body breaks it down, the body actually has enzymes that are called phosphatases that can break down when it's ingested the chained, basically linked together phosphate. And so the body then uses that enzyme, which then converts the phosphate just into orthophosphate, which is readily absorbed and again an essential nutrient to the body. Now, in terms of, I, I guess, just to make sure I understand, so then you're saying, well, what if the body doesn't have that available? I, I guess that's. I mean, that's never been something that's 